When storing and managing your vaccine supply, it is critical to have the right equipment and procedures in place to ensure your patients receive safe and effective vaccinations. In this short video, you'll learn about vaccine storage units such as refrigerators and freezers and a temperature monitoring device called a digital data logger or DDL. CDC recommends the use of purpose-built or pharmaceutical grade units designed to either refrigerate or freeze vaccines. Household grade units, those with a refrigerator and freezer compartment, can be an acceptable alternative, but the freezer compartment of this type of unit should not be used. Vaccines should never be stored in any dormitory or bar style combined refrigerator freezer units, as they pose a significant risk of freezing vaccines, even when used for temporary storage. Not all small storage units are dormitory or bar style units. Compact purpose-built units for biologics can be used to safely store vaccines. Every vaccine storage unit must have a reliable temperature monitoring device to monitor unit temperatures. CDC recommends a specific type of temperature monitoring device called a digital data logger or DDL. If you receive vaccines purchased with federal funds, such as through the Vaccines for Children program, you are required to use a DDL. A DDL continuously monitors and records the unit's temperatures at preset intervals. This detailed temperature information can be downloaded and reviewed. Reviewing DDL data is critical for vaccine viability and preventing administration errors. Many DDLs use a buffered temperature probe. A buffered probe matches actual vaccine temperature as compared to standard thermometers which tend to reflect air temperature. For accurately monitoring vaccine temperatures in an ultra-cold unit, it is essential to use an air probe, or a probe designed specifically for ultra-cold temperatures. When selecting a DDL, recommended features include a detachable probe that best reflects vaccine temperatures, such as a probe buffered with glycol, glass beads, sand, or Teflon, a current minimum and maximum temperature display, a recommended uncertainty of plus or minus 0 0.5 degrees Celsius or plus or minus 1 degree Fahrenheit, and a logging interval or reading rate that can be programmed to measure and record temperatures at least every 30 minutes. You might also find it helpful if the DDL features an alert system for out-of-range temperatures and low battery. These features, along with the temperature log sheet for daily tracking and documentation, make DDLs the best choice for vaccine temperature monitoring. You should have a separate DDL device for each storage unit and at least one backup device in case one malfunctions. Every DDL device should have a current and valid certificate of calibration testing. This is also known as a report of calibration. This testing ensures the accuracy of your device when compared to internationally accepted standards. Calibration testing must be done every two to three years or according to the manufacturer's suggested timeline. Follow the DDL manufacturer's guidance for specific instructions on how to monitor vaccine temperature. You can contact CDC at nipinfo at cdc.gov with your vaccine-related questions, including those on storage, preparation, and administration. Please visit CDC's website for more training and resources to support your vaccination efforts, including the Vaccine Storage and Handling Toolkit, Pink Book, and You Call the Shots web-based trainings.